What is temperature? How do you measure it? How old do the students have to be to know something about temperature or carry out temperature measurements? The experiment I'm about to do, I first did with a grade six class many years ago. Uh, they came into my lab one day, 30 of them, and I gave them each a thermometer just like this one. And I asked them to measure the temperature of all the things they saw in the lab that were measurable. These two were not there. They measured the temperature of this one. They measured the temperature of this one. They measured, and I said, I want at least 10 different temperatures. They measured under their armpits. I told them, don't put the thermometer in your mouth. I don't know the history of the thermometers. So they put it under their armpits. They put it behind their neck. Uh, they went over to the window. I think it was a winter day. They went over to the window, opened the window. Uh, they put it, held it up to the lights. Uh, they held it up to somebody else's body. They measured the time. There were other things sitting in the lab. Uh, I had various things sitting on hot plates or with ice in it or whatever. They measured them all the temperatures and wrote them down on their sheet, which I asked them to put their name on. And the first time I did it, I said, take it home and bring it back tomorrow. The next time I did it, I collected them. And when I collected them on the reverse side of the sheet, I printed, measure the temperature of the red liquid and the green liquid, the orange liquid, orange or red and green and tell me in a sentence or two how you know the temperature that you got. How you, how you determine the temperature that you recorded. That's all I want to know. A couple of sentences. Well, they went around the room and measured the various temperatures. They took, they, I, I collected the sheets, next day gave them back. And th when they came back the next day, I handed gave them their sheets, so I read the instructions with them, and then gave them a thermometer. And the thermometer I gave them was one like this. And I'll ask, I'll ask Scott to record a temperature with this thermometer, and uh, he will tell us. So Scott, either the green or the orange liquid, please measure the temperature of it. All right. Hmm. Well, I want to know exactly. Exactly. What, uh, what are you reading? I'm reading nothing. There's nothing written on it. There are no numbers on the thermometer. None at all. Ah. OK, thank you. The students made comments like, my thermometer is broken. My thermometer doesn't work. My thermometer doesn't know, have numbers on it. I don't know how to use it. And I, I had told them previously that they had 20 minutes to get the temperatures of these two. And one of the kids immediately said, uh, when I first gave, before I gave him the thermometer, he said, we don't need 20 minutes. Yesterday we had two things or five things to measure or 10 things to measure, and you only gave us 10 minutes. I said, how long do you want for the two of them? He said, three minutes. I looked at him and I said, John, do you still want three minutes? No. You want 20 minutes? OK. Well, how do we do it, they said. I said, that's why I gave you the thermometer. And that's why I asked you how you were going to do it. That's your problem, not mine. You have 20 minutes. Now, some kids just sat in their seats for the full 20 minutes. Other kids wandered around. One young lady saw a, uh, a roll of scotch tape, adhesive tape, that I had on a uh, large dispenser. It wasn't there for them. It was there for my students who were coming in the next hour to do an experiment uh, with gases. And she looked at it, and she said, can I take a piece of that tape? Well, that tape was a roll of metric tape. And she took it. And I think she put the tape on the case of the thermometer. I don't, I don't remember for sure. She put the tape on the case of the thermometer, 
took the thermometer, put it back in the case, and went around measuring, recording temperatures. Another kid took a piece of graph paper that I had sitting on the front desk and put his thermometer on the sheet of graph paper and uh, measured the temperature of the boiling water, which was still there, and put a line on the graph paper, measured the temperature of the ice water, put a line on the graph paper, and did the same thing with the red and green solutions. Other kids took a, a ruler. I had a number of rulers. They put the ruler alongside the thermometer and measured lengths. I'd say of the 30 kids in the class, 20 or 25 got some temperatures for these two. Uh, they may have waited till they saw what other people were doing, or they just went ahead and did it. And I was walking around looking at their, at their work. And one youngster, whose name I don't remember, let's call him Bill, uh, I looked over his shoulder, and he said that the temperature of the green liquid was 493 degrees. And I, and I looked at his work, and I said, Bill, that is fantastic. That's exactly what it is. And he smiled, and he said, what's the name of the temperature scale? And I said, it's the Johnson temperature scale. No kidding. He's, no kidding. He's Johnson's my name. And I said, no kidding? And he said, yeah, my name's Johnson, Bill Johnson. I said, well, this is the Johnson temperature scale. Maybe it was named after a relative of yours. We finished. Uh, they gave me the sheets. I looked at them that evening. My phone rings. While I was looking at the sheets, hello, is that Professor Telesnik? Yes. Uh, this is Mary Johnson. Uh, you had my son Bill in your class today. I said, that's right. And I played stupid from here on. And she said, I don't know what you did with him, but he came home very, very excited. He hates school. But he came home very, very excited, and he can't wait to go back to school tomorrow. I said, why? What did he say? He said that you told him that he had discovered or rediscovered a very old temperature scale that may have been named after an ancestor on his father's family's side. And I said, yes, that's what I told him. And she said, what else can you tell me about it? I said, maybe you better ask Bill tomorrow. Thank you for calling. Good night. And I hung up. That is a procedure, by the way, that I learned from Harry Wong. Uh, Harry Wong talks about calling parents. And I, that was a beautiful uh, exchange that I had with his mother. Anyhow, Bill came back to school the next day. And he asked me something about his long lost relative. I don't remember what I told him. But let me tell you why he got 493 degrees. Uh, when mercury was still non-toxic, I had set up a Boyle's Law experiment in which you took a capillary tube and put a plug of mercury into it. And you measured pressures and volumes this way, this way, and this way. And then, then did your calculations. And you needed about a third of a meter stick to do that. So what I did, because numbers weren't important, it was differences in readings. I took meter sticks and cut them into thirds, because that in my classroom I could afford. I couldn't afford full meter sticks for every kid. You recognize that statement. Bill had one of the middle sections of the meter stick. So this temperature, the freezing point of water, ice water, was somewhere around, let's say, 300. And the boiling temperature of water was someplace around 600. And this one was at 493. Now, doesn't that get the essence of how you measure temperature and how you define temperature scales? He was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Honest, if I were giving grades for his determination, I would have given, a, on, a, on a score of 0 to 100, I probably would have given him 140. Just like he got 493 deg degrees Johnson. So what is temperature? This is somewhere in between, well, if I had a graduated thermometer, I could get the temperature. 
but I haven't graduated this one yet. You, my students, your students, will get the graduations, put the length of metric tape on it, or use the meter stick, or make a chart, and plot it, and get the temperature of the orange liquid, the green liquid, and any other liquids I want them to measure, whose temperatures I want them to me measure. And at the same time, they'll learn something about thermometry. Thank you.